Hey guys, it's Morgan from the Beach Classroom and today I am just going to be talking about what we've been doing during remote learning and just some ideas, activities, tips, stuff that works for me and yeah, here we go. We've been talking for an hour, we just can't find the end. I keep all my stuff over here, so I have like our phonics book, letter cards, dry erase board in case I need one. I have all the books that we need, and then I have like all of our lessons and stuff here, which I'll show you. Um, I'll just kind of go through it. So it's kind of messy right now because it's end of week two, and like I haven't cleaned it up. I was playing for two weeks. So we have our poem folder. So we do those together. Instead of making anchor charts, I've been just using my Elmo and then like doing it on there. Um, oh, I love this. So I gave them these for at home. I did end up copying them um, smaller in case. I don't know if we're going back online learning, but I kind of started prepping just in case. So um, I did make them smaller, so I'm not wasting so much paper. But we do the calendar, and then they can feel like they're still interactive with it. I tried to make it on a Jamboard, and I, it was so cute. And then I realized they'd have to, like, click out of the Google Meet to go into the Jamboard. So, like, that's just not going to work. And I always do, like, a letter sheet with my Elmo. And, like, we do the word list. But I started doing it on my iPad, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. We did this the other day. I like doing some cut and paste things because it gives them some, like, time to do something at home. And it's not just, like, quick, okay, next, and, like, they're bored. I feel like this really gets them, you know, focused and, like, engaged when they're having to, like, cut and glue and stuff like that so i do like to give them a couple cut and paste things um, this was they needed the color words we made these which mine is like tate because i didn't have a glue stick originally but this is from um oh glitter and glue so this is cute and then it came with this and we're doing pairs of 10 so that was something cute that we did for math and another cut and paste. These are the No Prep by the Moffat Girls. I don't know if I said that right. Sharon gave me this writing journal, so um, we've been doing that. Except I ended up switching it to my iPads because I do writing in small group. Um, so then I can like do it three times or whatever with the kids. Um, so we do a writing journal. And then I make these little readers. So um, we do a little reader. Um, in our small group as well. I just have them literally all over the place because when I'm done and going to the next group, I just keep going. We did this little elf activity last week. Um, they like had to fill it out with each other or like with me and then um, they made this little elf craft, which I don't have mine, but um, it's on my TPT. Okay, and then here's my lesson plan. So I do send these home to the parents too. And then when I'm like prepping the stuff, I cross it out so I know like what I need or don't need. And then my friend Alicia from Primary Scouts has been coming in clutch for this online learning. So she always does like a mentor text, which she did this olive the other reindeer. And so I got that and then it comes with like all these activities. So um, we did this and my kids loved doing this and they... Like, I felt like came up with such good things. Um, and then we did a retelling activity with it. And then tomorrow, so we read it on Monday. And, hold on, on Monday. And I think we just read it and, like, talked about it. Yeah. And then Tuesday we did a picture walk with it and, like, kind of retold the story. And then we did the compare and contrast. And then today I reread the story because today is Thursday and we have like Wednesday not off but we don't have like the same schedule um so then today I reread it and we did this retelling sheet which was cute they colored it I didn't and then um tomorrow we'll do this expert student so like in the story um it talks about like dogs being expert like smellers and something else I forget but um, so then we'll talk about like what we're an expert at and then do that activity. So 
I love Primary Scouts. Um, I love Craftivities, everybody knows that, but um, when I need a Craftivity, I always go to her. And when I need these like longer sets of things that are already made, I go to her, like especially when I was out on my leave, I bought um, one of, I think it was Creepy Carrots because it was Halloween ta uh, ta time. And then um, next week, or at the week after break, I still don't know if we're online or in school, but whatever. If we're in school, we'll still do it. But um, I did Grumpy Monkey from her. So we're gonna do that story and do some of the activities. And I just wanna show you one more thing. Um, except I don't have all the pieces to this because they're in my bag, but we're gonna make this little craftivity for math. I always do one craftivity a week for math. And then um, next week uh, is gingerbread day. So we'll do the gingerbread girl. I'll dress up um, in the morning. We'll make gingerbread houses together online. And then um, in the, or maybe the next day, I think the next day we'll play bingo and we'll make these and then in small groups, I'll make them write about how they decorated their house. So that's it for like hard copy stuff, but I am going to do a screencastify and show you just like some of the stuff that we do um, on the computer and yeah, so here's that. Okay, don't mind this amazing hairdo, but I wanted to show you guys um, what I do with them on here in the morning. So um, we do zones of regulation. I am not a fan of some of the posters that I've seen um, because, well, first of all, the yellow one, like, I hate how excited and silly and nervous and anxious are all the same one because I feel like that's a whole different feeling, but, I mean, what do I know? Just, I, I don't know. Just for me, at least, it's a different feeling, so... Um, I did the, I made this in my class last year and they helped me pick out the little emojis to use. Um, and for the yellow one, I like the crying laughing face, like, ah, and then the one that kind of looks nervous because on ones I've seen, it just looks kind of like a nervous person. So like, they don't really get the silly stuff. So that's what we do. So we go around and they say that everybody's usually green and blue because they're so happy, but tired. <laughs> And then um, I made this. It looked kind of janky because I made it in something else to put in that jam board that I was talking about. And then I realized we can't do that. So I threw it in here. We always do find a friend, which looks like this. And then I just say something, but I'm probably not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to do like this. And so I asked these like little questions. Um, I still pick every day because that's what we do at school so I want to keep it the same and um so I pick a stick and then they pick um and honestly the best one that we've done so far is if you were an ocean animal uh which one would you be they have like really great answers for that so that's when I put them in the breakout rooms I want to show you guys how I do that but I like taped a video but then it has their first and last names in it and I just don't really like that so I'm gonna try to see if any of my friends family will go on a google meet with me so I can show you <laughs> anyways okay so then we do this and then I put them in breakout rooms with one partner so they could share with a friend then we all come back together and then I always in class I always let a couple partner pairs share and then I also do it on here so even if they don't get to share with the class they still like to share with someone um if you teach kindergarten this is a really 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 good way for them um to start learning their na each other's names at the beginning of the year like no one will turn and talk and then they eventually after a few weeks do but um I always make them say hi my name is and like Hi, my name is Morgan, and if I were an ocean animal, I would be a sea turtle, whatever. Um, so then the other person says, like, hi, I'm so-and-so. If I were an ocean animal, I'd be whatever. And then when they go to share, they have to say, I was with Morgan, and she said whatever. So they start learning each other's names, and I like that. And they still use that. Like, when we come back, they'll say, like, oh, I was with so-and-so, or so-and-so said he would like to be whatever and I just like how they rephrase it so I just feel like good skills everywhere um you're gonna probably laugh at this message 
I try to use as many sight words as I can. So we do a message of the day. Typically, I write it on there, but since they're online, like, um, um, my smart board, I just type it in here, and then I, they raise hands, and um, they say, like, sight words. I have readers already, or, like, kids who know the days of the week, so we do those in blue just to, like, be able to tell their special words, and then um, I highlight the sight words in yellow. We do this typically in class, like, they drag the snowflake, um, so I just like move it I call on someone and we count I call on someone and they tell me and then I move it so it's not that fun but it's fine and then this is the most boring days of the week thing ever I used to do like the today is yesterday was and it just gets I don't know it just gets so confusing so I just in class I have them move the today is to whatever day it is but now I have them tell me the day and then tell me the color and I move it and we watch a days of the week song so I'll show you some of those like, I need to get rid of some of those things. Anyways, um, here's some of the songs. My kids love this blue one. They love this monkey one. Um, and then in past years, my kids have loved this one with this creepy lady. <laughs> um, so we do that. And then we sing the month song. They stand up on their birthday. Um, we do weather watchers, we sing to the weather watcher, and that person goes to the window and checks what the weather is and then reports back. And then we don't really have announcements right now, so this is when we do the Pledge of Allegiance, because usually that's in the announcements. Then somebody gets to pick a color song, and then we do that, which they like that, and I like that, and it's just cute. I just, like, love all the color songs, they make me happy. And then... This is off because I've been just doing it on the calendar. So that calendar sheet that I showed you that looks like this. Sorry, oh my gosh, all this stuff all over the place. Um, that looks like that. Um, they've been, um, we've been doing it up here. So I've just been doing it on my iPad. Okay, and then I wanted to share how I've been doing everything on my iPad. So I opened the Google Meet, I share the screen, and then they see this. And then I open up our Go Math pages, and then you click this little up arrow thing, press markup. Sorry, I'm out of breath from coming up the stairs. I know it's ridiculous. <sighs> okay. Um, and then I, I just write on it. I actually write with my right hand, so sorry. Um, anyways, um, I can just write on it. It's so nice. Like, I can see it. So, anyways, there's that. And then, um... If I want to go to a new page, I just press done, delete PDF, and then I can go to the next page and so on. And I always just take a screenshot of like what I want to do on my iPad. So I'll like go on my drive and take a screenshot of like the worksheet or whatever. And then I press edit and then three dots mark up. And if this doesn't pop up, you just have to like hit the home button and then come back in and this will pop up. So like I love the highlighter and then I do that and then we fill out the days together. Um, they can like do the weather. They all love doing that, whatever day it is. And then I'll like do whatever day it is and draw it for them. And yeah, you get the gist. So anyways, that is how I've been using my iPad so much and I love it and then it projects to them and it's awesome. Well, that is it. Um, honestly, sometimes when I do these, I don't know if the video is long or short or what because it's in such parts. But um, basically, we're having a great time online. Um, the parents are making it like super easy. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you um, their bags packed up. So I'm going to go do that. Yeah. I, um, hi. Look at this cute dog. We got Lex here, she's packing all this stuff up. So this is what I was talking about. I had, well these lesson plans aren't right, but I have like their breakout room journal, calendar, writing journal, um, a bingo board because that's gonna be for this week. And then black paper for craft. Um, she's packing it all in this and then I'm putting one of their easy readers in here and then I mean, this guy could not be cuter. <laughs> um, and then I'm putting all together. And then our elf brought us a little treat. So I'm sticking that in there. Um, I love these bags to give 
the kids the stuff in. Um, Sharon and I, the last time we did this, we wanted something bigger than, where's those littler bags? Oh, something bigger than that because the papers fit, but it's hard to zip them. And if you want other stuff, it's too much. So these bags are perfect because it all fits and they are jumbo. This hefty brand I like, and they're the 2.5 gallon. So anyways, the parents are making it super simple. I'm trying to make it simple by the lesson plans and stuff like that. Um, and that's it. Like, they're really good. They like doing the breakout rooms. They love the breakout rooms. Um, and that's it. My camera's going to die. So give this video a like if you liked it. And subscribe. Follow me on Instagram for, like, day-to-day stuff because I'm usually bad at posting YouTube videos but I'm going to try Thursdays are my day for YouTube so let's hope that this video gets up tonight see ya